guy. When we passed me, he said, she said, they said. This is about what I said. I told myself to get it together. Because when others look at me, they see safety, security. Never mind insecurities. Never mind insecurities for my fears. I want women to see my gold medals before they start the claws in my head. I want people to see my hair, my red reflection, my face, before they saw my internal skin face. Before they saw the leather piece rest of my crutch. You know that mental pressure tells you what you can't even do. I've been stressed without bread. My heart feels like a gorgeous to cardiac arrest. My identity system is disgusted with my inhalation of self depravity. My nervous system has a systematic stigmatism. It's like every time I think I can, my nerves can use a cane and fade into my brain. The next thing I know, I'll be walking with a cane. Then my left one will breathe my right, my right will breathe my left. God, do you hear my heart? I can't even maneuver a grocery cart. Let alone make a pop chart. God, you got me standing on display or I'm sitting in disarray. You got the people looking straight through me with precision like they have x ray vision. God, can you give me a vision? Lord, what do you want from me? Can you knock my bookcase though, just so I know what this is? Listening? Is there anybody listening? I see my brother crying out, but his tears don't get to me. And his inner pain that's clearly pain earns none of my sympathy. It's like I love you, my brother, but it's sitting me an enemy. And it's funny, now looking at it as a team, because when I grew up at the time, my parents taught me that I could do anything and grow up to be who I wanted to be, because it was Christ who strengthened me. But did they even look at the scripture to even understand what it really means? I guess not, because apparently what I want to be you is just a silly dream. So why should I change my expectations? If in your eyes I'm just a silly team? Thought I was free to live, but I guess I didn't notice the change happening on my skinny jeans. But it doesn't even matter, because I got the ear y'all even listening. Is anybody listening? Can anybody hear us? I'm tired of wasting my life such for meaningless things to fulfill me. I'm tired of compassion by looking at me like I'm something unfamiliar. That were both my problems are so familiar. That my mind echoing my ears, y'all have been reflecting your children's tears. The life of a teen is about more than hormone pressure than childish tussles. We think about more than which bus we're going to catch in one. People, please don't hit you because I'm coming down your street. This is more than reality. This just the acknowledgement of the truth behind the lies of human society. People don't think it's a lesson on social economics, but it's behind the scenes preview of what teens really go through. This is the life of a teen behind closed doors. People, this is a true story. And not only true, but real. How many parents out here don't even understand how their own children feel? There are too many parents with hearts to steal, and they wonder why the children are popping with you. But yet still, we want you to take this and revolutionize history. But all we want to know is, is there anybody listening? <laughs> and Uncle Rick sure won't be happy. Definitely not my problem. Yeah, I know that you act a little He thinks he's making me a stronger man, but really, he just showed me how not to be a father. 